By the end of this video, you're gonna have five must-use AI tools because if you wanna spend less time creating content and spend more time getting the views and subscribers that you want, you need to make sure that you're implementing. And one of the tools that I'm gonna be sharing with you is literally going to allow you to monetize your YouTube channel without having a thousand subscribers. In fact, this creator just implemented these tools and gained over 100,000 subscribers in just a 30-day period. And this creator was able to use these tools to become a full-time content creator because here's the reality. AI isn't going to replace content creators, but content creators using AI are gonna replace those that don't use them. So you need to make sure that you're using these tools. Have you ever wondered why you'll post something on YouTube Shorts and immediately or within a few hours, it'll get hundreds or thousands of views and then it completely dies off never to get views ever again? Well, that's because YouTube is actually seeding your content with an audience and if too many of those people are swiping away, in fact, if more than 20% of them are swiping away, it's going to lead to your post dying off and the first tool, captions.ai, actually solves this because they make it incredibly easy to add captions into your content and captions are gonna do two things to help lower your swipe rate. First and foremost, they're going to get more people to actually watch your piece of content because more than 50% of people that are scrolling through YouTube, in specific YouTube shorts, probably don't have their sound on. So if you don't have captions on the screen, they're going to swipe away from the content and you're literally going to lose 50% of people. On top of that, you need to get people actually reading your captions. If people are reading your captions, they're gonna follow along for more of the video and them following along for more of the video, increase your average view duration, which is the second thing that the YouTube algorithm them is looking for when they're determining whether or not they should actually push out a piece of content. So please make sure you're updating all of your videos to include captions in them because it's going to increase the odds of you getting more views, increasing your subscribers, and it's going to compound on itself because the more views that you get on YouTube, the more views you're eligible for in the future. So this is one of those things where once you capture that momentum, you're going to get more views. But if you fail to capture that momentum because you're not using something like captions.ai, it's going to kill the views that you're getting. But we can't stop there because if you're one of those people, probably similar to me, where you mess up things in your script when you're saying your video, or you mess up when you're recording your content, and as a result, you have to keep recording new pieces of content, or you have to sit there and film for 30 minutes just to make a 60 second video, then you need to begin using Descript. Essentially what Descript is gonna allow you to do, it's going to allow you to change what you're saying within your content. In addition to that, it's going to decrease the amount of time that you actually spend editing your content because most of you are spending way too much time editing your content. In fact, for every 60 seconds of content you have, it shouldn't take you any longer than 45 minutes to edit it. If it is, it's probably because you're not using AI tools that are going to speed up that process. And you need to be using Descript so that you can literally just change the script of your video without you having to film a new video. Or if you wanted to say something differently, you can do that too because it's going to train itself on your voice and then guess what's able to happen? You're able to make yourself say things that you actually never said and this this is going to decrease all the time that you spend trying to edit your content or trying to create new content because you didn't like the first take of your content. But honestly, those first two tools were nothing because the next three are gonna allow you to decrease the amount of time that you're spending editing your content and they're gonna allow you to monetize your YouTube channel without a thousand subscribers. Now this brings me to the next tool that we need to cover, which is Teachable's AI course curriculum generator, which makes it easier than ever before for you to be able to monetize both your content and your audience. Lucky for you, Teachable just launched their AI course curriculum generator that makes it easier than ever before for you to be able to create a course that you can then sell to your audience. For example, their AI course curriculum generator will spin up an outline for you in seconds. All you have to do is give it some information about the course, it's going to spin up an outline, and now all all that's left for you to do is fill in that information and boom, you have a course that's ready to sell to your audience. What are you waiting for? Get paid for the knowledge that's already in your head by going to the pinned comment below using my exclusive code so that you get 30 days of free access to Teachable's Pro Plan. The next tool that you need to make sure that you're using is GetMunch. And you wanna use this for two different reasons. First and foremost, GetMunch is going to allow you to turn long form content into shorts. If you're doing motivational content, or even if you're taking your own long form content, trying to turn it into shorts, you need to make sure that you're using GetMunch because it makes it incredibly easy and it's gonna significantly cut down the amount of time that you actually spend editing your content. But that is honestly the worst of the features that GetMunch has. The second one that you need to make sure you're taking advantage of is their feature that's going to allow you 
to know whether or not the topic that you're gonna be targeting is something that's actually trending on social media. In fact, they take this into consideration when they cut up your long form content. You're probably using a piece of AI right now that cuts your long form content into short form content, or maybe you have a VA or somebody else doing it. Instead, what you should be doing is using GetMunch because it's going to take into consideration what keywords are actually trending, and this is gonna make a huge difference in how many views you end up getting in your content, especially on YouTube, because if you didn't know, your YouTube views are going to be correlated to how big of an audience there actually is for whatever topic you're going after. So if you chose the wrong part of a video to cut up because you thought it's something your audience might be interested in and didn't take into consideration the AI analytics behind it, you could actually be decreasing the amount of views that you're getting. On top of that, their tool uses smart cropping. So gone are the days of you having to recenter your content all the time because their program will automatically do that for your content. I don't know what more you could ask for. They have AI insights, they have AI video editing, and they have that smart cropping tool that's going to help you save hours of time and it's going to make the time that you're actually putting into using this tool 100 times more efficient because you're actually going after things that YouTube knows that they have an audience for and you know that because of their insights and analytics tool. And this brings me to the final tool that I'm gonna be sharing with you, which is literally gonna make your life 100 times easier and it's probably gonna save you hundreds of dollars. In fact, in order to make this video, I had to buy the $300 microphone that I use. But on top of that, I have to be careful about where I record. I have to record in rooms that have carpet because if they don't have carpet, I get a ton of different echo and static, even though I paid $300 for a microphone. Lucky for you though, you don't have to deal with any of this if you use Adobe Podcast AI. Essentially what it's gonna allow you to do, it's going to allow you to create great sounding content no matter what mic you had. In fact, you don't even need to use a mic. You could literally just use your iPhone and you can make it sound like it was recorded with this $300 mic in an ideal setting. On top of that, any background noise that you have going on, you could get rid of it. Maybe you use two or three microphones to record something. Well, guess what? That doesn't matter either because all you have to do is run it through their AI and it's going to make it sound like it was recorded professionally in a studio, which is something that in the past you would literally have to spend tens of thousands of dollars for and now you could get it basically for free with Adobe Podcast. All of that being said, you could be using the best AI tools in the world, but if you're doing the five things wrong that I share with you in this video, you're never gonna be able to pass a thousand views on YouTube, and I bet that this might already be happening in your content. If you're tired of your posts flopping, well, what are you waiting for? Watch this video right here.